Tonight on CNN is the second 2020 Democratic Party primary debate. And as was the case last time, uh, they will also be divided into two different nights. So on night one, we will see Marianne Williamson, John Delaney, John Hickenlooper, Tim Ryan, Steve Bullock, Amy Klobuchar, Beto O'Rourke, Pete Buttigieg, Elizabeth Warren, and Bernie Sanders all face off. And I just wanted to do a quick video where I give you my impressions of the lineup, as well as what I think we can expect or maybe look out for. So the first thing that stands out to me is how many losers we have on the debate stage. Centrists who are polling at 0%, maybe 1%, if we're being extra charitable here. I mean, do we really need John Delaney, John Hickenlooper, Tim Ryan, and Steve Bullock all on the debate stage? I mean, half of these people, basically, are unknown to the broader public. And it wouldn't be as big of a deal if individuals like Mike Gravel weren't excluded. I mean, he qualified by reaching the 65,000 individual donor threshold and he still was excluded. But instead, we have people like Steve Bullock. How many people in the country know who Steve Bullock is? Do we need that much representation for centrists on the debate stage? I mean, if you look at all of these individuals and you ask the average American, which one of these people is John Hickenlooper? How many of them uh, would be able to pinpoint uh, which person is John Hickenlooper? I mean, do you understand the, the issue here? So since there's so many centrists here, this will essentially be a debate between progressives and centrists because you kind of have three different camps, right? So you have the progressives, Bernie Sanders, Elizabeth Warren, I would include Marianne Williamson in this, in this camp as well. And then you have the anti-socialists, you know, Steve Bullock, John Hickenlooper, John Delaney, Tim Ryan. And then you have the centrists, Pete Buttigieg, Amy Klobuchar, Beto O'Rourke. So really, I think what we're going to see is a dog pile on Bernie Sanders and Elizabeth Warren. Out of all of these people, they are the front runners within this group. So I mean, naturally, you can expect them to be the targets. Now, here's what I want to see. I hope that Bernie Sanders and Elizabeth Warren abstain from attacking one another because they absolutely should team up here for purposes of this debate in order to take down these centrists. And I expect that they won't attack each other. However, last time I said that since they were both polling fairly well, all they needed to do was maintain, just coast through that first debate and let people kind of eliminate themselves. This time, I'm going to say, we really need Bernie Sanders and Elizabeth Warren to play offense. And maybe not necessarily go out of your way to attack someone, but I can assume that Medicare for All will be a subject that comes up. Don't just sit back and say, no, that's incorrect. You're wrong when you say this. Is someone like Beto O'Rourke? who I predict will go after Medicare for All, does in fact do that, hit him hard. Don't sit back and just hope that the American people, you know, see that you're correct. Don't give people the impression that this is a good faith debate between two actors who just want what's best for the American people. Call him out for the shill that he is. Call Pete Buttigieg out for the shill that he is. Call out John Delaney, who's been attacking Medicare for All. Like, we need to see some more action and viciousness from Bernie Sanders and Elizabeth Warren. Because even if they're doing okay now in the polls, they're basically leaving the door open for someone else like Kamala Harris, who isn't afraid to go on the offensive to kind of leapfrog them in this race. So I do think that they need to get a little bit more aggressive. And I want to see that during this debate. Take the gloves off. No more beating around the bush. Don't handle them with kid gloves. No more politeness. If they go after you... That's an invitation to hit them hard. Now, here is what I want to say about Marianne Williamson. So she is someone who I would expect to align with Bernie Sanders and Elizabeth Warren, even if I think she's probably more centrist, like maybe not necessarily centrist, but I don't believe she is a progressive in the sense that Bernie Sanders is a progressive because she keeps waffling back on really core issues. So she can speak intelligently about race, about economic issues, but when it comes to like issues like Medicare for All, uh, just the other day on Colbert, she said that she supports a public option, but before she said she supports Medicare for All. So I don't really see her as a true progressive, even if I like her, but I do kind of expect her to align with Bernie Sanders and Elizabeth Warren for purposes of this debate. You can kind of see, you know, a similar block pop up with Amy Klobuchar, Beto O'Rourke, and Pete Buttigieg. Now, here's one thing that I don't want to see happen. I think that John Delaney and John Hickenlooper, more so John Delaney, 
will kind of muscle their way through to the top of this debate just because they are going to go after Bernie Sanders and Elizabeth Warren. They're going to be aggressive. And if you are aggressive, that's how you get more airtime. You kind of just shove your way to the front. But really, if Bernie Sanders and Elizabeth Warren, if they play their cards right, and even if the centrists like Amy Klobuchar, Beto O'Rourke, and Pete Buttigieg play their cards right, they would kind of drown out the voices like Steve Bullock and John Delaney. They're polling at 0%. So, I mean, it would be in the interest of someone like Pete Buttigieg, for example, to go after John Delaney as well, because he's kind of trying to play in your lane, and he's taking up time, and he's pulling at 0%, so there's really no reason to hear what uh, John Delaney has to say. So I want to see viciousness, I want to see attacks, and I'm not just saying that because I like watching fireworks for purposes of entertainment, of course, but I want to see real movement here from Bernie, uh, and he's got to actually start taking the gloves off. Same with Elizabeth Warren. They shouldn't direct their fire at one another, but absolutely. I mean, if we hear Pete Buttigieg, Amy Klobuchar, and Beto O'Rourke talk about how Medicare for All is too ambitious because it eliminates private insurance, hit them hard. Go after them. Don't let them spread misinformation here because you have a national audience watching you. So now is your chance to make the case. And if you're Bernie Sanders, you have the best record out of everyone. So Elizabeth Warren, Basically, what she needs to do is align with Bernie Sanders, kind of be his attack dog. And, you know, Bernie Sanders should be the standout here out of everyone because he is the most progressive. So, really, I want to see Bernie Sanders win. And this would be an important victory, right? Because right now, he is kind of stagnating. So, we need that spark. We need to ignite a spark. And he has an opportunity to do that at this debate. But my problem is Bernie is just too nice, right? It's not in his nature to kind of be negative and go on the offensive. But listen, if they call you out or they say that your Medicare for all plan is too ambitious or it's pie in the sky, that is basically an open invita invitation to rip them apart. So this is going to be um, kind of a weird debate. I don't really know what to expect overall because you have so many centrists, so many non-entities, people who really don't need to be at this debate, in this debate, so that could overall influence the dynamic of this debate. But if Bernie Sanders and Elizabeth Warren again play their cards right, they could dominate this. And I hope that they kind of talked beforehand to formulate a strategy because it's incumbent on them to shine and prove to people that progressivism is the way to go. Now, you know, Elizabeth Warren isn't my go-to example for who's the most progressive, but certainly for purposes of this debate, her and Bernie have got to team up. Absolutely. So we'll see. Um, you know, we'll find out in my post-debate analysis how that went, but I want to see a victory here from Bernie Sanders. I'm not saying that, you know, he's just got to maintain here. I want him to win this debate. He needs to win this debate. Mike is a total loser, so don't hit the subscribe button, okay? And whatever you do, folks, do not hit the notification bell either. Mike treats me so unfairly.